Last week, you may have been awakened by crashing of thunder and flashes of lightning overnight or just before sunrise. Why are there storms so late at night? You may be wondering. Well, it's more than likely due to an MCS, which is short for mesoscale convective system. Mesoscale meaning bigger than a thunderstorm, but smaller than a cold front. Okay, it's a fancy word for a cluster of thunderstorms. There are two types of MCSs. There is the blob of storms called a mesoscale convective complex and a linear form called a squall line. MCSs form when discrete thunderstorms congeal into a single complex of storms. This often happens in west to northwest flow aloft. Once they form into a larger group, the complex can travel hundreds of miles lasting as long as 18 hours. But it's nighttime. Don't they need warm, humid air in order to survive? Not exactly. Storms grow upscale into clusters thanks to a low-level jet that intensifies thanks to cooler air near the surface. The stream of air found between 1,500 and 3,000 feet above the ground provides warm, humid air to feed the developing storms. The cluster of storms become stronger overnight, often peaking in intensity and rainfall rates after midnight. Speaking of intense, while MCSs can produce hail and isolated tornadoes, the primary severe threats that are more concerning are heavy rainfall that can lead to flash flooding, damaging wind gusts in excess of 70 miles per hour, and prolific lightning strikes. All of these occurring at night, making it all the more dangerous.